are back for the next episode of Pokemon Black. And last time we left off, we explored a little bit of Undela Town. Not all of it. That's going to be the rest for the last episode. Um, This episode, though, we're actually going to do... We're going to be completely... Well, not completely, but we're going to explore a majority of Undela Bay. But beforehand, we need to find one Pokemon for us to capture. And you're asking yourself, what Pokemon do you need? Don't you have, like, everything that you actually need? Nope. We don't yet. If I could stop getting these Wingles, you know, that would be great. But, you know... Who could stop that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me something. Give me the goods. The goods, 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 the Pokemon. I hope to God this thing can learn dive because I totally don't remember. It is a water and flying type. Actually, I don't think it can learn it. And it's the pre-evolution of that Mantine Pokemon that we found before. If it can learn dive, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna be cer uh, certain. I'm just gonna use the Super Rod just to find something. Okay, give me the goods, give me the goods, give me the goods, buddy. This is perfect, because I know this thing can learn dive. Should I just use the Master Ball? Oh, God. It's crazy to see this journey starting to come to a conclusion. It's crazy. You know... We're definitely heading to the end points now. The end point. God, I remember just starting to do it just to go along with the, uh... Just to go... From Gen 4 to Gen 5. And Gen 6. But I still haven't done Gen 1, 2, or 3. But... It's gonna be a little interesting to see how I do that. Um... Alright. Now... No, no. Now we gotta go back into the Pokemon Center, grab out Remoraid, and teach it Dive. Because Dive is gonna be something that we're gonna also be needing. And Dive is not like in the other games, or like in, um... Uh, uh, in Sapphire Ruby and Omega Sapphire, Omega Ruby, where it's kind of a requirement to get to these next parts. It requires you to do a dungeons, but the mechanics of it have changed so that you can only be underwater for a limited amount of time. Um. Sorry, I actually no. Ah. Uh, nah. Yeah, sorry, Bacon Bits. If everybody gets another level, I'll just smack you with the rare candy. Uh, do I really actually have... Oh, wow, that's the first water type I've catched, except from Crash. Wow. Well, first experience for everything. Any time now. There we go. Dive. Learn dive for I really don't care. Yeah, this thing learns bullet seed. Forgot to also say that. This thing learns everything and anything. Okay, first we're going to complete all the trainers though around here. That's one thing that I do want to be doing before we go downwards. 
Um, yeah, I'm fine right now. I'm a fine. I love swimming. Okay, I love swimming too. Cool. Okay, cool. Bart sends out Staryu. We've already talked about Star, uh, the Starmie family. This is the pre-evolution of Starmie. So, we've already said a lot of things about it before. Being one of the best war type Pokemon out there. With a good coverage, good stats, good move pool, good support move pool. Basically, is a good around all good Pokemon. We've seen Jellicent before. We already know a lot about that thanks to our Unovan travels. Earthquake. Its physical defense is a little more lower than its special defense, so... Dang it. We almost got it. Ring Out does more damage, I think, the higher HP stat you have. So, like, the more HP you have, the more damage that the move does to you. Which, I mean, is interesting. It's an interesting concept of a move. I'll give it that. Pretty easy fight so far. I mean, hey, it's a Wingle. So oh, come on, Wingle. Just, just, just get smacked and just die, Wingle. Like, you do nothing. Oh my god, air slashed. Oh, you son of a... Does it seriously not have any water type moves? Wowee! Ah, thousand experience. Level 62 wants to learn Fisher. That's an Oko move, but not gonna learn it because we're still basically under leveled compared to all these other trainers. So, not really worth using. Now we gotta smack it with a Hyper Potion. Um. Yeah, whatever. I'll have you, Tino. Bert. You know, I'm actually gonna have Cable out in front. Dang it! Dead end. My Pokemon and I are always swimming, of course. Something, 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 something. Don't I forget to say something. Quagsire is a new Pokemon. It is a water ground type Pokemon. It is only weak to grass because we know it from fighting all those seismitoads. But basically this thing... I'm gonna say it's basically a weaker Seismitoad, just because it has a little bit more lackluster stats in it. Except with its hidden ability, hidden ability unaware, which makes, makes all opponent's stat changes be unaffected by it. So basically, if my Excadrill used a Swords Dance against it, you would think that would get one hit KO'd. Unaware makes it so that the Swords Dance does not go into the stat calculations. Basically, that means it's not getting hit by Swords Dance, Boosted Earthquake. It's just getting hurt by a regular earthquake. Which is something unique to only it for the water typing, I think. And Golduck is a new Pokemon. It is a water type Pokemon. It has average... It has average stats. Nothing really to differentiate itself from other Pokemon. Except its ability Cloud9. Which um, actually negates all water... Or I mean all um, weather abilities. Or all weather just conditions. So basically, if you're like, God, I hate all this weather that's going around Gen 5. I just don't want it here anymore. Yeah, well, just smacking a gold duck with Cloud 9, uh, weather's no longer a problem. Shelter is the pre evolution of Cloister, and we've already spoken a lot about Cloister. That it has one of the, it actually has the highest defense stat of all Kantoian Pokemon. Kantoian? Kantoian. So. 
it would be very easy for him to bulk out physical hits. Special hits, though, unfortunately, he's not as great with. Chinchu. Chinchu is a new Pokemon. Let's say it again. Chinchu is a bulky water. It is a water electric type. Pretty unique. And has a very high HP stats. Actually, one of the highest in the game. It is very bulky. It has support moves. It's more of a very HP oriented bulky Pokemon. Accepted physical defense, though, is kind of lackluster, but let's just completely forget about that. God. I seriously want to just put a rare candy on Crash. I don't know, man. He's been really a uh, little bit a little lackluster recently. I don't even know why. He's really good with the shell smashing, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm giving him too much uh, harshness. Uh, Dragon Claw. Dang it. Ring out. Uh-oh. I really didn't do anything. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Uh. Ouch. Why'd I use strength against a ghost type? Shoot. God, if I had like a fighting type move, ooh, that would have been bad. In that scenario. Why'd I say, when I said scenario, it sounded like a Jersey accent. Scenario, 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 Mario. Speaking of Mario, did anybody else see the, um, the Nintendo Direct for this Super Mario 35 years? I can't believe it's been 35 years since the old plumber came to 2D. Came to the 2D with Super Mario Brothers on the NES. Jeez, it's been that long. Alright, wait. No, that wasn't... Was it about... I think it was actually the regu regular Donkey Kong. Because, yeah, not... Yeah, uh... Ooh! I... Uh, I don't know. I even need to look it up. But anyway, the Direct itself. There was a couple cool games there that seemed interesting. Like, new re newer and um, more polished renditions of Super Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. I mean... I was already thinking of doing, like, Super Mario Galaxy or something like that. But, by the way, this is the pre-evolution of Waylord. Um, maybe I might do that game. I'm, I'm throwing it around. I might do, like, the Super Mario Galaxy version of it. But I wish that they... My only complaint about that package deal is that I wish they put in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Because that would have just been like my childhood. The original Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2, that was my childhood. Super Mario Galaxy 2 was probably the game that I played most as a kid. God. I remember I played it to death, but then I just couldn't even complete the time trials because it was too young to realize what the time trial was even. By the way, Corsola, one of the worst Pokemon ever known to existence, known to man. Water, rock type, and quad weak to grass. Really, other Pokemon could pull that off. Like Cough, Caracosta, Cough. As Regenerator, one of the best abilities in the game, but has 55 physical attack, 65 special attack, 85 physical defense, um, 85 special defense. Horrible speed, horrible HP. Access to recover, it can be a bulky threat, but really literally a light breeze it has no way to really buff those um defensive stats and his hp is just so atrocious it's just not even worth half the time and it can't it can barely kill anything it's unfortunate but fortunately that's what it gets uh how much 
XP just crash need. You know what? Just because I don't feel like leveling him up at a water route. Last rare candy. I think I'll put Cable back up in front. No, nope, dang it. I think there might be another trainer around here. Might actually be the last one. And then we'll start. Uh, even if there is another one, then we'll just go to the next place on the list today. Seal evolution of. Pre evolution of Dugong. I already said about it, its stats are lackluster, and it's just mediocre in every single category. How many Aloha Molas have you seen now? Like 15,000? Quick Claw coming in clutch. Ah. Okay. So let's quickly. Actually, shoot. I just realized this whole entire undersection. Actually, no, that starts heading over to the, um, the next room. Now, we're gonna do the diving part. This is deep part of the sea. Remember to use dive. Abyssal ruins. This it sound reverberates. This is a limited dungeon. I don't remember how many steps you have to take, but after you take a certain amount of steps. Um, those are hieroglyphics. I don't remember what they exactly say. If you take a certain amount of steps, you'll be ejected out of the dungeon. So you have to use these, uh... You can't go back, forth, keep looking around for random stuff. Like what I'm doing right now, I can't be doing. And there are, I think... There are a lot of items here. Or you could sell to that maniac guy. The relic, all these relic items. And they sell for some big bucks. You can get, if you get every single item here, which I'm not, by the way, also the plates. You can get all the plates here as well. Um, if you get every single item here, you will actually be able to get over a million dollars. A million Pokebucks. Which this is basically... This is basically if you don't want to be fighting all the trainers or keep harvesting Elite Four and just want to straight up just, um, just find some stuff that would give some money. Dull sound echoed. Relic gold. In all these hieroglyphics, I think they say a message, but I don't remember off the top of my head, which I, nobody should, what they exactly say, because that would just be stupid. No, that would just be literal a nerd. No offense to any nerds who know this stuff. Eh, uh, oh. It all sound is close. Relic statue. torrent of water and with that you get kicked out 
And now we're back topside. I should have just used fly. So basically, that is exactly what the Abyssal Ruins is. And now we're done with it. So now, I guess, just because this is a 20-minute episode, I want to pack it with some more stuff, that I'll just explore to Route 14 until we get to um, the next area. And then the af episode after that, we'll go all the way back t through Nimbasa City. Then the episode after that, we go back to the Elite Four, and fight Cynthia, and then we're done. Which is crazy. Crazy to see that we're almost done with the game. I'll just uh, put bacon bits up in front. So crazy though to see like how far we've come through. And I think the last episode's gonna just be like an Elite Four rematch along with the Cynthia fight. So, I think that'll probably be just like an extra long uh, end episode. At least that's what I'm hoping. So now, we're on to Route 14. And, yep, there's fog here. I think. Or mist. I think that's what they call it. Did I even switch up bacon bits up in front? Barboach, new Pokemon. It is another water and ground type. To add on to the repertoire of them. And they... And this thing is, I'm gonna say, it is mediocre across the board except with an 100 HP stat. Its attack stat and special attack stat are 70 or high 60s, which, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not gonna be really hitting for a lot. But it is going to just be like... It's going to be your average run-of-the-mill water and ground type that can tank a couple hits. And it can do some decent damage because it also has access to Dragon Dance, which I've already showed off a multitude of times with how good it is on... Um, how good it is on Guillotine. Guillotine, yeah, Guillotine. So, it's definitely something that you do want to be keeping... You, you do want to be keeping your eyes out for because like I used it in in one of my own like personal games that I play and it did show its worth it did it definitely did it gets earthquake super early uh, like um, like underminer it's pretty good poor fish is basically better Kingler and why I say that is because it evolves into a water and dark type. Well, it's the better crab. It evolves into a water dark type. It has an ability called adaptability, which in turn allows its stat moves to be boosted by 30% with, with the added effects as well. So, for instance, Kingler can use Rock Slide and it would be boosted in power, but Corefish can't use Rock Slide, but... Can, can use Rock Slide, but it still has the flinch rate. While its water and dark time moves are boosted. Also has Sword Stance and Dragon Dance. Which Dragon Dance is the differentiating factor. Because, you know, Kingler would really love to have its speed and attack boosted in one hit. And it's just, attack stat is just simply astounding. And even what's... And it has access to Sword Stance. This thing is a terror. I mean an actual legitimate terror. Carvana is the definition of a glass cannon. It falls into a water and dark type. It has a, it has a ability called Speed Boost, which I've already said. Coming off of, I think I said it off Ninkata's Evolution. 
and Speed Boost is one of the best abilities in the game, and it will basically able to outspeed everything and anything. Except if it doesn't have Speed Boost activated, which in turn, yeah. This thing has 20 defenses, and when it evolves, it has 40 defenses. So this thing is not going to tank anything, nor does it want to. It wants to hit as many attacks as it possibly can before it goes down. Which is something... Something to respect. By the way, also, um, I am slowly but steadily changing all the titles or editing all the titles of all my older videos and giving them actually actual titles. Today I did like a couple more smash vids. Which... Hope you guys like that. Um, I'm, g I'm just doing... For the Smash videos, I'm doing them and the fighters in order of how I got them. So that's why it's taking a little bit. Because I have to literally look through all the videos. No, son of a... I have to look through the videos and see what I have to... Or see the order of the fighters that I got them from. Which is definitely um, tedious. Definitely tedious. Um, also, when we get back, or I'll, yeah, look at all this stuff that we got. Find a Ultra Ball. Large waterfall, use waterfall. Whoa. And looky who's here. God, this is going to be a jam-packed episode. Greetings to you, strong tra Pokemon trainer who came from Dragon Spiral Tower. Are you not making friends with Reshiram? There's a saying, if someone in this world, there is someone who understands you. It feels like there's a person that's right beside you, even... If you are far apart as the end of the land at the top of the sky, as my lord and his Pokemon understand one another, so too do you and your Pokemon understand one another. Which is the reason for giving you this. Bulk up! The legend of Unova is about the people working together to build a new world. The message is simple. If changing the world makes you a hero, anyone can become a hero. As each of us changes what is in our power to change, the world itself changes. Yeah, going to plasma, blah, 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 bloop, bleep, bloop. Indeed, I shall. Team Plasma changed me, but it could not change the world. I'm looking forward to seeing how you will do. I think you're extremely curiously, KJ. There's a topic of which we might speak. A report has reached my ears of someone far from here. Indeed, that someone has spat a person like Ed and Dragon Pokemon. I depart. I depart to subordinate the substance of this information. Until next time, I say cheers to you. I think with that, I think that's going to be the last time we're seeing Looker. I think. Don't quote me on that. I think we might be able to see N. Actually, no, I don't think we're actually able to see N. Never mind. Or, wait. Let me actually check. Okay, back. God, I was looking at it. Nope, we do not see it, and that's, I think, the last of the looker as well. By the way, Hippopotas is one of the few Pokemon that actually has the ability Sandstream, and Sandstream is an ability that summons sand. And, I mean, it's pretty decent. It's a very strong, physically bulky tank. With a lot of physical defense and a lot of attack along with a lot of HP. So it's pretty good at the rolls that it does. We've already seen a thousand and one different versions of Piloswine. Well, actually, no, we really haven't, but we've seen Piloswine before in Giant Chasm. Wants to learn the move Flare Blitz. So Flare Blitz is basically double edge, but it's a fire type move. 
so it has recoil and a lot of it. I'm going to say for right now, no. I might switch it later so that I could have it, but for right now, no, I'm not going to use it. So, for at the moment, I am just going to quickly brick break this Probo Pass, and this Probo Pass is the evolution of Nose Pass, which is more of a bulky, um, mixed bulky bag with not really a lot of attacking stats, so it really doesn't have a lot to, um, to, like, sort of differentiate itself over than other bulky Pokemon. Oh, shoot. My feet got the water by accident. Wait. Um... Actually, looking at this... Oh, shoot. Somebody texted me. Wait, I'll be back. About an hour later, I'm back. Haha! -ha! Because I had to go eat, and you know... At my place, it's very late. I don't know why the screen went dark. That's that's great. The lighting of this thing is going to heck. That it's going with me. So, you know, that's... That's totally something that I want to see for this game. Just for it to go entirely dark. Um... Yeah, I think that's, that's, this is just like another way to exit and enter, enter this area. Alright. Next, we are gonna fight this kid. East Trainer Kip. Absol, new Pokemon. This thing is a titanic 130 attack stat with some titanic moves. Like, it's the strongest Pokemon, I think, of this game. It's the strongest Pokemon which has the strongest priority move, so it has Sucker Punch. And coming off of its 130 attack stat, along with Sucker Punch, it's the strongest priority move in the whole entire game. Like, the strongest base-powered priority move that a Pokemon can use. Any Pokemon. And Absol has the cake of that. And kind of another bad thing is that I'm gonna dive one, two, it's level 68, holy crap, I just realized that. Uh, three. Um. Uh, I do not. It, its speed in defenses are pathetic. It just has its 130 attack stat to uh, go by. But even then, it's perfectly fine and able to, like, sweep teams with Sucker Punch and whatnot. And just literally murder everything. It's nice. Now we go on to the better... I don't even remember if we went over this, but who cares. But now we go over to the better seal, Walrein. This thing is basically called Better Dugong, where it has basically better if... Basically equal, if not better, to all stats. Might be like a couple stats under, or like a couple things under. Not sure, don't remember. But it basically is a cornerstone of hail teams because of its ability ice body and combine that with leftovers combine that with protect combine that with toxic this thing and substitute combine it with all those things it can stall teams to death if you don't have something to change the weather you're going to be in a world of pain And also, it, it, it hits pretty hard. It has like a, I think I had 80 physical attack, which isn't terrible. And a 95 special attack, which is pretty good to start off with, so. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna hope to God that Wizard doesn't hit the next turn. If not, don't care. Ah! God, why is everything so high leveled over here? Why is this guy leveled up? Dodrio. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, crash. I don't think I'll even need a... Sh I mean, I'll shell smash just in case. Dodrio is the evolution of Dodua, and basically this is called Better on Pheasant. Yawn.
get minus defense plus special blah 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 blue 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 and rocks oh my god it's still faster ah it's confused now you son of a thank you Ah, jeez. Come on, Rock Slide, hit more often. Okay. So, basically, our team just got entirely dunked on. I mean, not badly, but... I should have probably switched out Lantis, that was my fault. My faults. Me faulties. And now, I gotta heal the thing back up, and it's at the top. And revive. And heal, now we're good. Perfect! Ha! I wanna go back just to get these last couple trainers. Alright, never mind. Now we're good. Numel, we've. I don't know if we fought a Numel before, but it's a pre evolution of Camera Ups. I think we might have before. I just don't remember. Ah! Uh, it's Psy Shock. Who cares? Oh, wow. That, that went quick. Jeez, that was actually extremely quick. Oh, wait, all these trainers here. I'll go back all the way up into the front heel, then we'll go back and complete the rest of this route. Primeape. Primeape is a new Pokemon. It is a Kantoian Pokemon. It was originally called the fastest fighting type with a very good 95 speed. But then that got overturned by, like, Infernape. And Terrakion, Kabalion, Virizion, all of them. It has a good attack stat, but just really hasn't aged well. It's better of the earlier generations. I mean, it's still good, but you're definitely going to find some faster fighting types in that. And what that's basically its fastest fighting type mark is out. Holy rat. Lantis too so shook. Come on. Mind reader. What the heck? Oh. Uh, mind reader basically makes the next move 100% accurate. So if you have like mind reader with Fisher, Fisher would become a 100% accurate move, which would be stupidly broken. I don't think there's even a combo of that. Like a. Like a. Mind Reader, or Fisher, or Sheer Cold, or any of those moves. Ah, uh, level 63. No, I don't think we even need to heal him back up. Pretty confident that we'll be able to deal with it. Yeah, we talked to that guy. So, we're basically back up there. So, we're good. We're still good. We're still good. We all good over here. East trainers and whatnot. Near, near, near. And about to put that. Perugly is a, another normal type Pokemon to add on to the repertoire. And why are these Pokemon level 68? No idea. Okay, now we're really under leveled. So, Perugly is a fast, normal type physical attacker. I mean,. It's decent attack stat, decent stuff, like, it's not the worst at certain, at being a physical attacker, speed physical attacker, like, it's really fast, but it's definitely not the best. Cough, cough, so many other Pokemon to outclass it. Oh, cough. Speak of the Devil, arguably one of the best water and ice type typings, except for Cloyster. 
This is... Shoot. Yeah, I'm dead. This is Lapras. Lapras is an all-around bulky Pokemon. It could be a physical attacker. It could be a mixed attacker. It could be a special attacker. It could be a tank. It can be a sweeper. Basically, it's... It's a patch, and you patch it onto your team, and it'll do whatever the heck you want it to. It's an all-around jack of all trades. It has really good coverage. Can somehow learn Thunderbolt, which I mean, cool. Um, I think it can learn like Dragon Pulse. It can learn Waterfall, Ice Beam, Confuse Ray for some odd reason. It can actually learn a really a very a very variety set. It ha can have a very variety. Even has Dragon Dance, I think. Even though it's pretty slow. The only thing that probably cripples it is it's just it's typing. Just because it's weak to Stealth Rock and Rock Pokemon when it's trying to counter Rock type Pokemon. That's the only thing that's probably gonna knock it down a peg. But and then that really isn't terrible. Espeon. Now I'm gonna go heal up. Because I'm not gonna bother using another revive and another hyper potion. Just because the heals are so quick, are so close. Espeon is an evolution, one of the first of the many that are there. Evolutions, basically, it's a Pokemon that's called Eevee, and if you don't know Eevee, where the heck are you in the Pokemon fandom? Um, Espeon is a is just like a generic psychic type special attacker with speed. Its hand ability, though, kind of distincts it, which is Magic Bounce, which is the ability that Zatu had if we re if from the battle that we saw in the Dream Yard, but I actually didn't have that ability, but I'm saying Zatu is the Pokemon that we saw from the Dream Yard. Um, so basically, there's only, like, two Magic Bounce users, at least in this game, which is Espeon and Zatu, and technically not two. It was also one, but I don't really count that. Uh, I'm meaning for Final Evolutions. So, basically, I mean, it's a generic special attacking psychic type. It's covered... The only thing... Eevee... Eevee are have really good stats. They're good types. They're, they're, they're pretty good all around, except... Except three, where I can already picture them just being completely terrible. Cough, fire, cough, grass, cough, ice. <laughs> but... The unfortunate thing I would say is that their move pools are god awful. God awful. There's so many, there's so much that they could have done to at least bump up the evolutions move pools, but they suck. They have to use like return. They have to use return their own stabs and basically that's it and some status moves Unless if you want to cobble together some TM move pool, which really isn't a point of Basically all their stats are good. It's just their move pools suck Which is unfortunate because they really can be good Pokemon, but if you figure out a way to use it Yeah By the way, here it's just a stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this off next city, so I'll put it in the title for next episode. But don't. But I, it's more of a Nintendo Wi-Fi connection thing. So basically, we're just gonna be going to the next route next episode. Complete all that. And then after that, we'll probably have like one to two episodes left, and it's crazy. It's crazy. So I hope you guys like, subscribe, or like, comment, subscribe, do what all you guys need to make the show the most popular it could possibly be, and all of YouTube, and I will talk to you guys later.